Well, it's April and this is my TBR. This month's um, year a read-along topic is rereads and um, if you don't know what it is, I've been um, participating in it for uh, the first three months now or two months now. It is essentially a read-along on YouTube um, where you read according to a topic for the month um, and it lasts for a week. So this week's or this month's topic is rereads as I have just said and I figured that was probably a, it would be a waste of time because why would I reread books when I have a whole lot more books to read but I figured I would read the ugly series by Scott Westerfield because I haven't finished it so it's like killing two birds with one stone very practical Tracy <laughs> so I'm going to be reading Uglies, which is the first book, Pretties, Specials, which I haven't finished yet, and then Extras, which is the companion novel, um, and I haven't read that one either, so essentially I'm just rereading Uglies and Pretties, and then I'm going to be finishing off the entire series, and I know that this month I'm going to be having a whole lot more assignments and tests, um, so I'm pacing myself a bit, but I do have a mid- term break for a week so maybe I could fit in some reading then. I'm getting a little fidgety so I might have to put these books back into the box. Part of pacing myself means that I'm only going to be tackling short books for this month um, just so I'm not overwhelming myself so I decided I'm going to be reading the second book of the Penrin and the End of the days or something series by Sus Susan E and this is World After. The first book is Angel Fall and I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this series. People go on and on and on about it on booktube um, and it's quite small. I'm pretty sure the font isn't that small, I small either so I can probably power through this. Reagan gave it a 5 out of 5 so I'm excited because I wasn't sure how I felt about the first book. Um, and then I'm going to be reading Mystic City by Theo Lawrence, which is the first book in the series. The second book is coming out in May, um, I want to say. So I just wanted to read the first book and see how I feel about it. It, it is actually quite thick, but um, it's about this girl who's um, engaged to this guy and they're about to get married. But there's something inside of her, like there's this memory missing and she wants to know what it's all about. So it's a sort of mystery, I guess. Um, so reading synopsis, I guess I will power through this um, if it's an easy and fast read. Other than that though, I'm going to be reading a couple of new releases as well. Um, hopefully they come in before the, well, before the month ends because I live in Australia so if I pre-order something it doesn't really come in the next day. It comes in seven days afterwards because I buy a book depository. There are no, there are no other book places to pre-order that will ship faster. Um, maybe book world for a couple of books, but these books they don't. I'm going to have to read off my screen because I don't remember these people. So the first book that I want to read is Dor Dorothy Must Die, which is the first book in the Dorothy Must Die series by Danielle Page. Um, and this was in... Most of the books that I'm going to mention now are, were in my anticipated um, releases for 2014. I cannot speak today. <laughs> oh. But I'm super excited for that. Essentially, Dorothy has become a tyrant in Oz, so one of the girls, one of these girls, is sent back to um, track her down and kill her. Sounds epic already. So, and it's um, going to be published tomorrow. So hopefully, I'll get it by next week, if not the week after. And then I want to read "Don't Look Back" by Jennifer L. Armentrout, and this is a contemporary. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a crime as crime slash thriller. I don't really know how to explain the synopsis besides the fact that I think one of the girl's best friend goes missing. She comes back and she doesn't remember anything that's happened about it. Um, sounds pretty creepy. Yeah. And then I want to read To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny, Jenny Han and this is about a girl who writes letters to all the guys that she has liked um, and she keeps them in a box so no one knows about them until one day they are accidentally sent out and I don't know how they're sent out um, and all the boys receive them and they read it and now her secrets are exposed and it sounds like a really cute sort of sweet novel so I'm very very excited to read that as well and lastly is Pointe P-L-I-N-T-E and this is just Point by Brandy Colbert and this sounds like a 
ballerina sort of story to me, but I don't know. I appreci I had it on my anticipated novels as well, and I don't remember what the synopsis is about, but I do know I want to read it. Um, so I guess that's something. Yeah. I think that's it. I don't think I'm going to reread anything off my personal collection because I want to read the new releases. This is really bad because that means that my shelf is just going to stay there and build up forever and ever and ever. But alongside that though, I'm still reading A Clash of Kings by Georgia R. Martin, the second book in the Song of Ice and Fire series. Um, I'm just trudging through it slowly at the moment. It's definitely very good, but I don't have a full urge to finish the entire series by the end of this year or something like that. So I'm just slowly getting there. I'm 100 pages in, so that's pretty good. We shall see how I go with this. On a side note, and I don't know if you guys can see, or like, it's in the background, obviously, but I <laughs> managed to do a rainbow shelf for my bookshelf, so I put all the coloured ones at the front and all the black and white ones at the back, but I only did it because of um, Ariel Bissett's rainbow TBR shelf. It looks amazing, and I was like, you know what, I wouldn't do that to my shelf. I'll leave a link to her video down below, but it looks exceptionally beautiful. It's amazing. Um, and I am so proud of what I have done. It took me ages to do it, and I was, like, over it, but... You know, I've, I've done it. I've managed to do it. I'm not sure I'm going to be fully sticking to this TBR, but at the moment, that's what I have on my agenda. Um, tell me what you guys are reading this month in the comment section below. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!